I am in Mount Rath County Leash and I was looking for directions and a woman said to me, are you looking for Bloom? And I said, I've no idea what Bloom is. And she said, oh, you should go around and visit it. So I decided I would. We've just renovated what was the chapel into a conference centre with full audiovisual and gigabit broadband. So this was the Brigidine Convent in Mount Rath. And in 2017, 2018, the Brigidine Sisters donated to the community of Mount Rath to develop a community space. The idea was to kind of build a co-working space and kind of community spaces as well. And what had happened to Brigidine's? What was the story there? The schools had amalgamated. They opened a new kind of state-of-the-art school just okay. a few minutes up the road. Mm -hmm. So um, the sisters are still in town. They still come in, regularly visit, you know. Okay. So they're still around. They're still active in the community. Um, and they kind of, when the philanthropist who thought of this project approached them uh, when he explained what he wanted to do they were like fantastic idea we'll give you the project for a euro so, so we so somebody funded this yeah who was it it was a local philanthropist and um, the shield foundation okay so they funded the initial phase of the projects and then with the help of local community development funding as well we managed to open a hub we have hot desking you can come in pay 10 euro take a desk for a day with gigabit broadband really good coffee and fantastic <laughs> coffee <laughs> uh, so important. <laughs> it's just really good it's hand roasted on site it's like it's ethically sourced it's so just if the fantastic goes down, at least the coffee's all right is that what you're exactly. saying exactly great exactly how, how about you how did you get involved so i am the local his uh, county historian as well i'm also a genealogist and i came in looking for an office Okay. And I was like, okay, I really like this space. Um, went to take an office and they advertised for a part-time manager. I come from a background of management and I was like, fantastic, two birds with one stone. Okay. I can stay doing my history and be part of a fantastically socially impactful project. So obviously this is our beautiful entrance. My favourite piece is the parquet floors. They're oh. just beautiful. How many people have walked on these floors and through these doors for the last 120 years? Well, I'll bring you through our canteen space. Okay. So this would be the um, kind of hive of activity in here. So Sister Helen is taking part in a class today. Okay. Um, she used to teach here as well. Home economics. You're working on a mobile phone, are you? Okay, and how, what, is there anything in particular you're looking at on the mobile phone? Nothing, nothing. This is a mural of the sleeve blooms. Any of the ESB guys coming in, mm. the first thing they spot are the pylons. Oh yes. But no one else would, okay. you know, so it means something to different people, you know. And um, scouts come in and they know what peak they've hiked on. Okay. So that's what it's called, a phone An booth. acoustic booth. So if you're like, in a meeting and you need to pop out and take a call, you can jump on there. Oh. Here's Alan. Yeah. Alan is a local business person. Well, I'm involved in aircraft training and engine training, so I am so. Oh, why are you here? Why are you in that traffic? Because I live in Port Leash and during COVID, I was looking for a remote working solution outside of the home and discovered in my own hometown where I grew up, there happened to be one which is probably the best one that I found around. So that's the reason I'm here. Coffee or is what? better here? Or the coffee, the company, it's a great network of other businesses. And you can kind of, you know, brainstorm and share ideas, uh, you know, outside of your own industry, which is good. Straight away, all you can hear are the birds singing. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I suppose it's a little oasis in all 
kind of you can come out and just take a call or you can work out here we've yeah. put wi-fi out into the garden i think you're more productive when you're outdoors you know right. so a lot of the summer we would spend out here i've recently written a book a local history book on two women from mount rath and castletown and most of it was written out here These are probably one of my favorite things, mm -hmm. our mobile pods. They're on wheels, they can move, oh, but you can literally just sit in and the world will go by and you get your work done, you know? I have people who book in specifically to just use these. So you're down to the right today, down by the printer. We were in the Yeah, not today though. No. Sorry, Ginter. Um, right this way, and then just down at the printer. You'll see them down there, okay? <clears throat> How are you? Hello. 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 So what's happening here? So this is a, a course run with the Leash Off the Education Training Board. It's called Stay Connected and it's of teaching people how to use their phone. The office that Alan takes is just here okay. and then the rest is just workshops as well, you know. Right. What's the print room? Storage. Okay. <laughs> Storage. <laughs>